So look what watt cycle sent. 100 amp hour, I believe this is the mini version, lithium ion battery, along with a 12 volt 20 amp LiPo 4 battery charger. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. And it comes with a Bluetooth app user manual. This battery is a smart battery, so it is Bluetooth capable, along with a manual. So we've got the battery in a bag. We've got four probably M8 bolts and a couple of plastic caps, both red and black. Nice nylon carrying strap. Watt cycle, smart edition, mini with Bluetooth. 12 volt, 100 amp hour. Twelve hundred and eighty watt hours. Good looking, good looking little battery. I love the mini batteries. I like, I really like the size. Let's have a look at this charger because we're going to use this to charge the battery. Instruction manual. Looks like four pages for the manual. Charger. It's got some ring connectors for the battery side, and then a plug for the AC outlet. Just plugs into the side here. Model WT 14.6 volt 20 amp. Tells you about the indications, warnings. Looks like I might have a light here, some holes for ventilation, an aluminum case that acts as a heat sink. Here's where you plug in the uh, outlet plug and a cooling fan. And it feels pretty stout. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Well, let's check out that battery manual. So it looks like it covers several different batteries for this manual. Advanced battery BMS ensures product safety and long lifespan. Supports fast charging and discharging. Constant voltage and full usable capacity at any state of charge. IP67 rated for dust and water resistant. And grade UL94V-0 fireproof. LiPo4 chemistry, standard maximum 20 to 100 amps for continuous charging, 100 amp continuous discharge, overcurrent discharge protection, 300 amps plus or minus 50. So 250 to 350 for overcurrent discharge protection. Short circuit current protection. So it also has low temperature protection weight 20.94 so just under 21 pounds on the weight shipped at 50 percent we'll have a look at that here in a second it says cycle life 6,000 cycles at 80 percent depth of discharge four in parallel four in series max for both of those store between 32 and 140 Fahrenheit cable size chart applications and usage Okay, excellent. And I didn't give you the dimensions, but the height looks like we're about eight and a half inches in height with just a hair over nine or about nine inches. And the depth is about five and three quarters of an inch, just under 21 pounds on weight. So we'll get it all hooked up here. We're going to use this charger to uh, charge the battery. We'll get it set up for that and then uh, we'll charge it to full but before I do that I want to take these nice nice feature just have these caps and uh, let's do a voltage check and see what voltage they sent it to me at 13.2 and then we'll just take a couple of these looks like they've got a set of bolts that are short and a set that are longer. So you've got two sets of longer bolts and two sets of shorter bolts, which is a nice addition if you are uh, trying to connect a lot of things to your battery bank or something. You can tighten these either with a wrench or with a large Phillips head screwdriver. They don't need to be that tight, but we'll get that tightened down. So to cover the app, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but this manual will tell you how to get 
a hold of the proper app and then it explains everything about the app. I actually really like the app from what I've seen so far. But this is uh, BMS Meta, M-E-T-A, this app. And I just downloaded mine from the App Store. So far, what I really like, there was no signing in or signing up or registering. Just download the app, open it up, and pick your battery. This is the Watt Cycle Mini. I renamed it through this app. Click on the battery, and bam, it connects and you're up and running. So it's real simple and real easy to deal with, which I absolutely love. So it's showing right now I've got the battery at 43%, the 13.18 on the voltage, and it gives you the temperatures in Celsius. I haven't been able to find if you could switch that to Fahrenheit or not. I don't believe that you can. And then the battery status, it shows your cell voltages, individual. It shows the max voltage, minimum, average, and then the difference. So 0 0.006, 0 0.007 is the spread between all four cells. And then the 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29. Really nice. Apparently it has a page that will give you warnings if you have one. I don't have any warnings on this right now. And then here you can go in, I guess, if you have a password, which maybe because I didn't sign up, I don't have a password, but you can adjust several different settings if you've got the actual password, which I haven't looked into yet. But it's just nice to have this feature. So we'll have this app open. You can turn the charge off or back on and you can do the same with the discharge turn it on and off so discharge off let's do let's do a quick check on that and see if we get any voltage with the discharge off I would guess that we won't so nothing see if I can get that to stay reach down here and we'll turn the discharge back on Boom, turns the battery. So you can turn the battery on and off from the app. Real nice feature. All right, let's go ahead. We'll get this charger going, and we'll see how it does right off the bat here. Okay, and then we'll plug the charger in. And I heard the fan kick on. We've got a red light here indicator on the charger, and it tells you right on the front. Waiting mode is green. Charging mode is red. Fully charged mode is green and charge error mode is a flashing red. So we've got charge mode which is red. I can hear the fan going. It, the fan came on almost as quickly as I plugged it in. And then let's look at the app here. So we're showing current 20.6 amps coming from the charger into the battery. Power 275.01 watts. 0.22 watts now and off we go charging away temperatures are starting to climb just ever so slightly and it will continue to do that as it heats up from the charge and then this green is got some movement to that circle there you can tell that something's going on with the battery with a, a red charge indicator there showing that it's accepting some charge pretty cool I really like the app so we'll come back when this gets topped off and then we'll we'll get set up and we'll do a uh, capacity test 100 amp hours or 1280 watt hours and we'll see how it does there okay the watt cycle 12 volt 100 amp hour smart mini is charged we've got a green light on the charger showing 100 percent it automatically turned off the charge it's showing 13.52 for the battery these is four different temperature sensors. I got to looking at this a little bit closer. You've got two for cell, cell temperatures, so maybe two locations on the battery package, and then uh, MOSFETs, 41, and ENV. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe just inside the case, but it is showing 100% charge. So we'll get this taken down and we'll get set up for a capacity test on the Watt Cycle Mini smart battery. Currently, according to this meter, we're showing 13.3 volts. 
let me go ahead we'll get it started I've got it zeroed out so we get an accurate reading here we'll get started this will be a nine plus hour test crank this up as high as I can go about 145 watts with this particular device we'll get close to that and we'll let that go for the next nine plus hours we're drawing 11.1 .1 amps battery voltage is dropping and then we'll see where this uh, watt cycle Bluetooth mini comes in as far as capacity check I also wanted to show you the app just so you can kind of see what it shows you pretty nice app I actually really like it 11 amps of current coming out of the battery it's 13.22 on the voltage pulling 145 watts or so and then it shows you your temperatures and the individual cell voltages and it's pretty darn close to perfect on the balance 0 0.006 difference between all four cells at the fully charged state pretty nice all right we finished up the capacity test on the watt cycle mini bluetooth smart battery 12 volt 100 amp hour we came up with 103.73 amp hours, 1,300.42 watt hours, and the test took 9 hours and 18 minutes. So the Watt Cycle Smart Mini passed with flying colors on the capacity test. All right, we've got the battery topped off again, the Watt Cycle Smart Mini with the Watt Cycle 12 volt 20 amp charger. We've got 100% showing on the app. So I want to test the Watt Cycle Mini 12 volt 100 amp hour battery for uh, continuous discharge. It's rated for 100 amps. So I've got a setup here. I've got it connected to my inverter. I've got a watt meter or a uh, battery monitor here. We'll set up and show the amps. That screen is hard to read sometimes. We'll set up the app on the iPhone here. And I've got a multitude of things plugged in. I've got a heat gun plugged in, a couple of shop backs, and then I'm going to have my studio light as well as my fan. <laughs> and we'll try to get this thing up to a little bit over 100 amps and let it run for about five minutes. And just test and see that it can put out its rated power for at least five minutes. It's going to be kind of noisy, so I'm going to cut cut out some of the sound and put in some music or something just a little more enjoyable to watch while we do this test so let's go ahead and we'll get started okay just to show you we're at 99 percent on the battery currently i'm drawing 10 amps of current almost 11 10.9 with a fan and a light on and the inverter turned on and we'll turn on the uh, shop backs amp current draw almost 1400 watts at this point five minutes and uh, I'm going to turn the heat gun on high we're at 107 amps or 105 we we'll put this on high and see what we can get it up to and do that for about another minute 140 on the amps we'll let that run for about a oh the inverter just shut down Okay, I think that was the inverter. Let's turn the heat gun off. We'll reset the inverter. Nope, the battery shut down. 140 amps, too, too far over the uh, current limit. Let's look at the app. I'm pretty sure that the uh, 
yep battery discharge shut down but it ran that for probably 30 seconds i have to go back and look at the video and see what the timer was showing but uh anyway so we should be able to just reset it i believe yep and that all came back on so battery shut itself down so the over current protection on the discharge went ahead and shut it down so that feature of the uh, watt cycle smart mini bluetooth battery works just fine excellent so after that test we're at 88 and a half amp hours still left in the battery i'm going to disconnect all this put it in the freezer for about 10 or 12 hours bring it down to freezing or below freezing and we'll test the low temperature cutoff or low temperature charging cutoff feature and make sure that works i'm really liking this battery the bms should shut off the charging capabilities of the battery so i'm going to be using the watt cycle 12 volt 20 amp lifepo battery charger and the way this light works you've got two green lights one is indicating that the battery is fully charged the second one is indicating that the charger is on standby or waiting mode waiting for a battery to be connected so here you can see the battery is charged to 88 percent and then we've got all the temperatures and the cell temperatures minus 8.2 and minus 7.8 degrees celsius and they're both red because the battery has disconnected the charge capabilities it's actually activated the low temperature cutoff I tried to turn that on by touching the charge switch but it won't let the battery turn on to where it will accept a charge so just for confirmation let's check the voltage of the battery 12.79 is where we're sitting right now so you've got a green for standby mode and green for fully charged mode but it's obviously not fully charged so if we see a green light, that means it's waiting for the battery to accept a charge or to be, to be plugged in and, and waiting for a charge to happen. So we'll plug in the charger and see what happens here. We've got a green light, so it's in standby. Now it's trying to charge because it turned to red. It's trying to charge and the battery won't let it so it goes back to the standby mode. So the low temperature charging cutoff for the watt cycle battery, the Smart Mini is actually working and doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Excellent. The watt cycle Smart Bluetooth Mini exceeded its capacity test. We checked its uh, maximum amp draw limit and it exceeded that as well for five minutes. I really like the size of this particular battery and the weight of it. I'll include links for this battery as well as the watt cycle 12 volt 20 amp charger in the description of this video and if watt cycle provides me with a coupon I'll list that down there as well I really like the battery I'm really partial to uh, favoring these mini batteries just because of their size weight and the power that they can output thanks for joining me on this review and we'll see you on the next video